welcome back welcome welcome back to to do to do our channel and if you are new here i'd like to welcome you to this relaxing 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 thunderstorm and our family <laughs> so you're probably wondering number one why i am burning at the flesh and number two <laughs> i know it's crazy right and number two why i'm wearing a bathing suit well if you've been with our family for a long time you know that festival season it is here and it is something so dear to my heart i have been going to festivals since 2008 it is just something that helps me relax get rid of stress just like helps you. And in two days, I will be <laughs> kicking off festival season by seeing bad fish. Bad fish. Bad fish. Are you a bad fish too? They are a sublime tribute band. And it is being held at my favorite festival grounds, Nelson's Ledges Quarry Park. Last year, I did this exact video, which I plan on doing year and year after that, as long as YouTube allows. And it is where I show you. And we're also going to be going over some products that I forgot to add last year because even though I don't use them, if you're watching this for the first time, hoping you're going to find something, you know, that can help you. Um, on your first time journey, uh, I will include those products this time because, yeah, why not? <laughs> Last year's video reached so many people at the ledges and I met so many amazing family members and I hope this year's does the same. So, I hope that the storm isn't too loud. But, let's just get right into it. So, this year's theme as you're probably looking around, is holographic. And every year, I don't try to dress a certain way, but I do try to dress in a certain color. If it is your first time going to a festival, my best advice is if you're going with a group and you get lost, wear something that your friends or whoever you're with will remember you by because getting lost in the woods is a very, it can be a very fun thing, a very mysterious new thing, but it can also be very scary if you're not prepared with the right, you know, items on you. So this year with my group that I'm going with, uh, this weekend I'm just taking a friend along and we'll be together, but if we get lost, uh, they'll be able to find me by my hollow or my death sunburn. Either or, you know? But the bag I will be carrying this year out of two, I have my leather dragon bag, as you guys may have seen in my other video. And I have this bag that I stole off a kindergartner at my son's bus stop. I'm kidding, I got it at Claire's, I just can't grow up. But... <laughs> I got this at Claire's for, I think it was $16, and the reason I like it is for a few different reasons. <laughs> Number one, it's fuzzy, meaning all the people tripping on psychedelics and overdoing it on Molly won't come up and touch me by my skin. They'll grab the bag first, and then I can say, hey, ask for consent, things like that. So that's the first reason I like it. But I do like it because it draws colors and it's a pretty fun color. If somebody's having a bad time at a festival and, you know, they're not in the right state of mind, bright colors can always help a person when they're having a bad time or trip and things like that. And we'll get into that a little bit later, but this is the Sears bag. Opening it up leads to today's sponsor, and I am so proud to be working with, which I never thought I would be, so thank you so much. I am proud to be working with Dollar Shave Club for today's video. 
because last year I didn't add a razor, which I learned the hard way after spending five, five, five days at Classics Fest, which is um, a tribute band called Several Species for Pink Floyd. After five days with like no soap, no water, uh, the rain couldn't help somebody like me, <laughs> I was a mess. And the biggest thing I wish I would have had was a razor and a good one. And that leads to the kit, the set that Dollar Shave Club sent me today. And that is the ultimate shave starter set and which they have a great offer right now where you can get this kit for five, five dollars. So my shaving routine, whether at home or at festivals, is I literally take like, I don't know, a, a bottle of off-brand shaving cream, whether it be my husband's Barbasol or something from Equate, and just lather it on the areas I shave and go over like 30 times with a razor. I have no aftercare, no before care, and what's cool about the ultimate starter set is that it comes with the executive razor, which I'll show you in a minute, and three one ounce tubes of their Dr. Carver's shave. Ooh, I was gonna. <laughs> Dr. Carver's shave products. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. But opening it up. You're gonna get the, again, executive razor and then the three Dr. Carver products. And I will be showing you how to use them because for me, I just am going to throw these in the bag, you know, in the morning time before my friend or my group wakes up, head down to the quarry, use the water, uh, and use these products and still have super smooth legs. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is use the prep scrub if I can show it to you because this box won't sit on my leg like no I'm kidding but here's the prep scrub and what you're gonna want to do is apply it to exfoliate dead skin and it helps release and prevent ingrown hairs and just a little thought that you might have because when I heard of this brand I thought it was specifically for men until you ask yourself do you shower do you shave? Do you brush your teeth? Well, I don't, but you do, making this non-gender specific. Unlike Bic, who created those pens that were like pink and squishy and like said they were for women, no, Dollar Shave Club is all gender neutral. It's for everybody. And it smells amazing. It smells amazing, sweetie. No, but seriously, you want to apply the prep scrub. <laughs> and then, after you get to that, that's a third one, you want to apply the, I'm trying to have this box set on my leg. <laughs> you want to not die from the storm, but apply the shave butter transparent shave butter to soften hairs and razor bumps. And then finally, last but not least, you just want to apply the post shave dew, providing hydration and relief on contact. So I throw these products in my bag and get to shaving. And what I like about the handle is the fact that it's tough. You know what I mean? I literally hold a razor like this when I'm shaving my legs, and this has nice grips on it. So that'll definitely help along with the blades. But yeah, their products are amazing and high quality. I'm gonna pull out a cart. I can never get this right, cartridge or cartilage. But pull these bad boys out. But yeah, they don't just sell razors either. They have everything to look, feel, and smell your best. Whether it be shower, oral, or shaving products. So this is what the razor looks like. The executive razor. And oh wow, this has five blades. One, two, three. Oh dear, six blades. Oh 
gosh. <laughs> what? I literally, I didn't even know the six blade razors existed. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six razors, or six blades. What? But yeah, they ship them right to your door. And the more you buy, the more you save. And again, you can get this specific, this specific starter set for five dollars so all you have to do is go ahead and join the club with one of their ultimate starter sets for just five dollars and then after that the restock box ships regular size products at regular price so with that being said join the club at www.dollarshaveclub.com slash Um, and go ahead and get that deal today. I'll also have a link and more information down in the description box below. So, with that being said, let's get into the second product in my festival bag. And that is... This one's real, real good. Toilet paper. Let me tell you something. <laughs> as a female or a male I don't know some of you do you guys use toilet paper on your d when you're at a festival ground whether it be Nelson's Ledge's Quarry Park or somewhere in the abyss at a festival ground just please trust me when I say keep a roll of this even if they have like a mini roll with less paper on it to help you fit stuff in keep a roll of toilet paper with you let me tell you that people get so messed up at music festivals that they just destroy the porta potties because they're a either really messed up um which is actually can be really sad b they're just trying to be assholes and destroy something so somebody else can't use it or c uh the weather conditions uh, can make you know what i mean the humidity can shrink up the toilet paper bacteria starts to form keep this with you when you're camping when something inside you maybe makes you ask to have to go to the bathroom very quickly you're gonna want to wish that you had this especially when you're buying food up at the vendors you know what i mean you might not have napkins they might be out having this beautiful piece of equipment on you is so precious please take my word for it and that is the second product i'm gonna have in my festival bag this season third i'm trying not to pull out like okay so basically this is just makeup you guys if you've been with our family for a long time and if not again welcome it's just my makeup bag i've used this every season for the past like three years it's literally like my everyday makeup but for wait is it in here oh, but for eyeshadow again i'm going for the holographic look this season and i'll have the kat von d kat von vaccine alchemist holographic palette it's my favorite go-to i'm not going to stop using her products because she chooses not to vaccinate her kids that's none of my business and not my choice as a person to dictate you know how she raises her kids so this is what i'm taking along for my shadow and i just have like old used products i find that if you are going to festival season try to pack a night before with like old makeup products you don't mind losing or you don't mind for or not forgetting because the day of when i'm hurrying up and scrambling to pack everything in the car I find that once I put my makeup on, I forget to put it in the bag, and I throw the bag in the car, and then I forget my makeup. And in my opinion, as somebody who has self-esteem issues, you want to, like, you know, you want to feel your best. And when I feel that I look my best or look decent, I feel my best. Yeah. <laughs> makeup products. more makeup products just brushes and no they're not the jeffree star brushes i don't have a makeup brush packet <laughs> but i definitely want to have a good setting spray and the 
As much as I can't stand Urban Decay setting sprays, this is the best one, which is the all-nighter one. It doesn't give oil on your face. It doesn't make you look gross. Like, it's perfect. And then I have this Fenty Beauty. It's like a glitter. That was not ASMR. I'm so sorry. It is how many carats, and it is a all-over diamond fail. Since I'm so, I'm so pale, you're on air. Literally, it's just a powder. It's not a highlight. I'm sure it could be used as a highlight, but it's just literally glitter. Here, I'll apply it to my uh, third-degree burns here. You want to take a brush to apply this, and if you're applying makeup while you're applying this, do this very last so you don't get it all over the place. When you're at a festival, when you're, when literally you are at a festival, you definitely want to be very careful with what you touch and then where you touch with that touch, if that makes sense. If you're prone to get an infection like last year, I accidentally picked up a leech somewhere. I took a picture of it. I didn't know it was a leech. I'm just letting this thing run up and slide up my skin and then it just like gets bigger and bigger and finally I guess it fell off. It didn't attach. There was a massive rash where I had to go to the med tent. I had to get Benadryl, aspirin, or like Tylenol. It was just, it was a wreck. <laughs> it really was. So, makeup. Keep in mind, again, Make sure you have some kind of sanitizer on you. I don't have it with me at the moment, but I'll bring like an oil spray. I can just spray and rub on a paper towel because again, you are touching dirt. You are touching like, if you're not using toilet paper, rarely are there sinks to wash your hands at a festival. And if there are, they're probably all destroyed and the water has run out by the time you get there. Murphy's Law, whatever can ha- whatever- Whatever bad thing can happen, will happen at the worst time. Remember that. Which leads to my next product, essential product. Banana boat, do 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 Banana boat, that's not the song to this SPF whatever. Is this the kids? Okay, good. I thought I brought my kids. But as you can tell... got on my bike. I got a motorcycle. It's a scooter. I got on my motorcycle. I like to like tell everybody I'm a biker now. In reality, I'm just riding a scooter, but it's a 400cc scooter and it would be considered a motorcycle if the engine was tilted upwards. So take that. No, I'm kidding. But I got on the bike the other day and I didn't think that I was getting hit by the sun and lo and behold, the light doesn't make it look too bad. But lo and behold, I am as red as a tomato. <laughs> and I have a bruise on my head from Botox. Oh, it's a good life. It's a good life. But use protection. <laughs> Two things. Last year, I did not explain something you should always keep on you at festivals. Condoms. Yes, kids, we are talking about condoms while I'm holding sunscreen. <laughs> I promise you, condoms are going to protect you. Um, you find yourself relationship or not, people go a little bit crazy at festivals and they do whatever they want. And you might be in the mood to try something. So please, 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 if you choose to do anything, whether it be the O roll or something else, have a condom handy. You don't know these people and they don't know you. And some people present themselves to be something they're not, especially at music festivals. So keep a condom on you. Practice safe sex and safe sunscreen. So. Seriously though, condom. My next essential is Nelson Sledge's Quarry Park is a quarry. It's huge. Everybody's swimming during festival season. Everybody's too messed up, too drunk, to something or other at festival season, and they're going in the water. They keep their phones in their pockets. I got this at Claire's for like three dollars. 
it's adorable it goes with the color scheme i just spit i hope you saw it and it's a waterproof phone case and it's tiny it's not one of those giant ones but i don't know where the lanyard it came with is oh here it is it fell off comes with a lanyard and even if it does fall off that would be crap because the quarry's like a thousand feet deep but <laughs> keep it around your neck this is waterproof so if you're a little bit messed up if you're not feeling too good or whatever you just don't think and you get in the water with your phone your phone's ruined keep one of these with you and put it in before you go in any water seriously It'll save your phone, save your money, and save you if you need to make a phone call. I don't know. As earlier I said, you're not going to be making a phone call in the woods, but... This goes for everybody. Men, women, anyone else. Makeup wipes. And these are the micellar cleaning towelettes, cleansing towelettes. And this goes for men and women, um, all of us. Let's just be real. If you're at a festival, if you're camping anywhere for a few days, I'm not even kidding you, and you don't have access to a shower, sweat, your body produces sweat in crevices, whether it be fat or under your arms, you're gonna start to smell. I don't have the products here, but for women, even men, um, what is the brand? I can't even think of the brand. I'm thinking of Vagisil for some reason. <laughs> and then I'm like, Pepperidge Farm remembers. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's a feminine brand. They sell feminine wipes. Men can use them to wipe up down there. Don't make yourself feel uncomfortable. Keep some type of baby powder on you without us. What is it? Aluminum or talcum. Do not get talcum powder. <laughs> stuff causes like ovarian cancer and stuff. Just get yourself something to wipe up with down there. Keep clean, keep feeling good. Um, I'll show you another product I have that keeps me feeling good. I'm gonna actually spray it because I'm sweating and it doesn't feel good with sunburn, so. Burt's Bees Micellar Cleansing Towelettes. I'm gonna use, well, these ones. I'm gonna be completely honest. I didn't get to go to Walmart yet to shop for travel products, so I just threw these in the bag, but these are extremely irritating on my face. I don't know what's in them that I'm allergic to or it just doesn't do good with my face. I think it's honey. Um, see, it's warning me. I don't use these. I'm just using this as an example. I keep makeup wipes on me at all times and although I don't have the feminine products, I keep feminine products and I keep clean down there. Don't be ashamed of wiping up if you smell bad. It's real life. Women's V's don't smell like flowers and begonias or whatever. They smell like V's. So, let's be real. Hey, Clark! Don't fall. Don't. You're gonna fall. There we go. Batiste. Any brand of dry shampoo works. Except for Dove. Dove, you, you're get your stuff together like stop making horrible really thick dry shampoo <laughs> batiste is a really good brand and not your mother's dry shampoo is a good brand but they make travel travel size dry shampoos that's why i have this next day at a festival if you want to look pretty even though you're not going to want to you'll probably feel like crap and just anyway go ahead and take some dry shampoo Spray it. Spray it on the buns. Spray it in the hair. Rub it in. Feel a little bit clean. Put your hair up in some space buns. Braid it back. Who cares? You're not going to want to have your hair down at a festival. I'm telling you, it is so hot. Certain days, certain weekends. If it rains and you like to take a hair straightener in your hair, there's no, not going to be any power outlets. Even if somebody has a generator, it's probably ultimately not going to generate enough to where they're gonna let you be, unless you have it yourself, be putting in a hair dryer and hair straightener. You're at a music festival. Go enjoy the music. Go enjoy the nature. Like, take a can of this, put your hair up, and get going. So, that is an essential for festival bag. Next! 
for me and maybe for you if you're wearing sunglasses the whole time. Lens cleaner. I would prefer the wipes. Um, and I actually have a towel and a extra pair of glasses I brought and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, you get sweaty all day, your makeup's falling off, it's falling in the lenses if you wear glasses or sunglasses, whatever. Keep a pair of this lens cleaner, even for your phone, keep it for anything really. Your car window, if you get something on it, like keep it with you, you know? No, seriously. I need it and if you wear glasses, I really highly suggest it. The day gets to you being outside all day long, your glasses aren't going to hold up and stay 100% clean. Keep a lens closer or they make the little towelettes, which I prefer, but reduce your carbon footprint, I guess. Dirt, trash, just keep this. Recycle. I keep this because at festivals, um, this is where I talk a little bit about um, what I personally do at festivals. So I have been sober for, since 2011, eight years and the only time that I really drink ever is during festival season and I go every other weekend or every weekend and there's one night where I'll have a few drinks and I take, um, I'm very honest about this, I do psychedelics and, and when I do that at festivals I always keep safe um, but basically I will get into that in a little bit at the end giving some tips but I always keep some kind of headache helper. I try to stay natural because the day after a night of drinking or something like that, taking Tylenol, a blood thinner, you might still have alcohol in you. It's just, it's, you know, not the best. So I keep this little guy with me. All it is is essential oils. That includes jojoba oil and lavender, peppermint, and frankincense. All you do Put some right here on the temple or the site that it hurts. Let it kick in for a little bit. You're gonna smell the essential oils. The morning of, you know, being at the quarry or any festival ground, it's nice. You know what I mean? It helps. And speaking of like psychedelics and things like that, always make sure if somebody is in a bad state of mind, if somebody is having a bad time, whether that be a stranger or in your group at a festival, please take my word for it. Take care of them, okay? Please make them feel like they're loved and they're wanted and try to help them the best you can. If somebody is under the influence of psychedelics, although the drug itself is not dangerous, um, and I don't even consider it a drug, but I have to technically, being under the influence of something like that can cause somebody to make very bad decisions, if not um, supervised properly in the right conditions. I will include um, a few things down below. One being a testing kit for anything that you may try at a music festival because we can't sugarcoat these things. Ignorance is not bliss. It's not. We need to educate on what happens at music festivals, which is, you know, a lot of drinking and a lot of usage of certain drugs. Um, psychedelics being probably the biggest just for the fact that it leads all the way back to the 60s era where people were going and partying, you know, Woodstock and everything like that. What I'm saying is take care of your friends and if you're, you know, taking, I feel like I'm on a PBS, like public service channel, like, take care of your friends, okay? Be there for them, love them, care about them, and them do the same for you. If you end up lost, like I said earlier, if you have some kind of reflective clothing or something they can remember you by, there is always a med tent at every festival. You ask somebody and they will help. Somebody will help you. There's hundreds of thousands of people <laughs> that go to these things. Stay safe. Keep your friends safe. Get a testing kit. Test everything before you use it. And if you do plan on using it, be in a safe space with safe people. So, there's that. Um, next. Last item in this bag, besides an extra lighter, which I have my Zippo with me, but if I ever lose that, I have like 40 backup lighters. <laughs> Trust me. Are my fans. So, last year's video, I had a Hulu hoop, and I'll have my hoop with me. But this year, 
I will have something a little bit different, and they are fans. They're dancing fans. Turners, you know what I mean? Like, people who, like, dance with fans. I don't know. <laughs> Literally, you flip them open, and you dance around. I literally was failing myself for a minute, but it's okay. They're see-through, they're beautiful, they're fun for people who are just watching from afar, or people who are tripping, bright colors, everything to help the person be happy. I love spinning these. Um, I can't wait to post a vlog from this weekend's Bad Fish and show you guys exactly how I love to flip fan. And then, in the front of the bag, since this video is going on 32 minutes <laughs> For me, extra pair of glasses, because I learned one year at a festival. <laughs> Luckily I had contacts, but I now I don't. Lost these in the quarry from doing the quarry jump. Couldn't get them back. <laughs> Had to wear my contacts. It was a really bad time. The contacts were really dry from the heat. Just horrible. If you wear lens, if you wear contacts or glasses or anything that you need to see, bring extra. Just trust me. Trust me. Trust me. When you're in the woods and you lose something, civilization from home is very far away. Even if you live next door, it can feel like an eternity to get there. Have something with you. Everything you need on your body. Ready? Have two. Better safe than sorry. I'm serious. Take my word for it. If you're just starting to go to a festival, you want to have all of these things. And some items I haven't mentioned yet are extra pairs of socks and shoes. Don't bring one pair of shoes. I don't care if you're going to be there for like eight hours or something. Well, maybe eight hours. Overnight, keep an extra pair of clean socks, clean underwear if you wear it, clothes you don't normally wear, throw them in the car. It gets cold in the woods at night. Have an extra blanket. If you think that you're comfortable with the blankets that you have in the car, ready to go, put two more in just for me, okay? Just do it for me and you'll thank me later. Just some perfume when the deodorant's not working. I keep an extra perfume, and I like things in the summer with glitter in them, so. This is the pink, warm, and cozy vanilla and sunburst passion fruit. I've always loved this smell. And again, it's full of glitter. So, I want to be sparkling. Which leads to my last product in the big bag. Another thing, if you're carrying a big bag to the beach or wherever you're going at the music festival, I'm speaking for myself and Nelson Sledges, water, 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 water. I don't care if you don't drink water. I don't care if you're like, well, I'm just going to drink it. Get water. Please. <laughs> this is a joke product, but for some reason I have it anyway. It's the Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It's garbage. I can't stand it, but I do have it. I can't stand it when she touches me. Shake gently. Mist two to three spritzes onto face for a boost of hydration and glow. Under or over makeup. This works not only for your face, but your skin. And it's supposed to give like a dewy mist. I'm so pale, so I wouldn't know if this is working, but if you guys like this product, please comment down below. Oh, I got my mouth. I don't like it. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't work for me. Tatcha, your brand is beautiful. You have so many beautiful products, but this product, not for me. <laughs> I just wanted to show you. 
like I have something dewy to spray on my skin. I guess it works in this light. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I look as gross as I did before I put it on. Just, I'm, stop patronizing things, Sarah. Stop it. <laughs> okay, so that is my, like, necessity bag. Um, there's so many more. You want to go to a festival last notice and you want to know what to put in your bag. A roll of toilet paper. Money. Uh, a bank card, if you have it. They always usually have ATMs at festivals, but some still go by, like, the olden days where there's literally nothing. Some people don't even use money, like Burning Man. They use the, um, currency of just kindness, like, give and receive, give and receive. Um, extra changes of clothes. Thousand blankets. It's, like, walk hard with, um, John C. O'Reilly, and he's, like, the nurse, he's, like, going through the drawers. She's, like, he needs more blankets. He needs less blankets and more blankets at the same time. Have extra blankets. I'm not kidding you guys. Like, please listen to me. Have water. Extra water. Bring bread. Two cans, like, of peanut butter and jelly. If you're allergic to peanuts, I can't help you. Bring something else. Chocolate, maybe. You never know when the whole place could burn down and there's no food and you're stuck bring some jelly and like bread granola bars to keep healthy and yes believe it or not gatorade is good for you but water first before anything water bring something like tylenol a pain reliever something you know what i mean just over the counter not promoting pain meds ever i'm just saying um if you're a drinker the next day can be horrid at a music festival if you go too hard and most people do water crackers bread extra blankets a thousand pairs of extra underwear, a thousand pairs of extra socks. Trust me. Bring a battery pack. I don't know why my battery pack is not in there. I swore that I brought it. Girls or men, if you have long hair. Hair ties. These one won't cause knots. So if you are so adamant about your styled hair, you can use these and they won't mess them up. Dry shampoo for those of you who want to feel clean. Dollar Shave Club buy their ultimate shave kit set whatever it literally has everything you need to keep yourself nice and smooth and again men and women and everybody in between we all get dirty down there especially after four days at a music festival without being able to shower get some cleansing wipes don't be ashamed of shaving down there and last or cleaning up down there and last but not least my main bag, which I'll keep on me at all times, and I think this is where the battery pack actually is. My dragon bag, and if you guys like this bag, I did a whole review on it. It was handmade for me. I'll include the artist down below. It smells so good, I love that smell. I keep this bag. My essentials. Unfortunately, I am a smoker. My cigarettes, and probably an extra pack too. Money. There it is. Battery pack. Although there's usually no service at festivals, it's 911 always works, no matter where you are. Keep an extra charge, just in case somebody needs help. If you're in the dark and you need to find it, you know what I mean? The light on your phone can help. It can signal to somebody that you need help. SOS, like, keep a battery pack on you. A lighter for the cigarettes, because everybody always bicks me or or whatever I smoke, and everything else. This is the lighter that Zippo sponsored me. I'm really proud of it. My favorite, Flower of Life. So, I will keep that on me, always. And then... Because I get injections on my lips and they get dry really easily because of the injection, so... <laughs> Anything with SPF as well. Sunscreen, remember, keep sunscreen on you. And a pen, because I usually get people's Facebook names and I'm too a little bit out of my mind, trippy-wise, to be typing in my phone, so I just write their names on my hands and phone numbers and stuff. So, there you have it. That. My dear friends and children and family, are what is in my festival bag for 2019 and there are like a million products that i haven't gone over there's you know what i mean so i really really hope that some of these products can help you thank you again so much dollar shave club for working with me in today's video i'm very proud to be sponsored by you guys get the dollar shave 
ultimate starter set for five dollars by again going to www.dollarshaveclub.com slash ksasmr today <laughs> with that being said family i love you so much i am so excited that this time of the year is starting to happen it's what makes me happy it's what you know what i mean gets me excited you know my kids and i like the family my husband and kids we all go to amusement parks all year basically if it weren't for you guys, I would never have this life. I would never be able to go to a festival. I would never have a car to drive. Thank you for supporting me, um, especially with Dollar Shave Club. It really helps support my channel and everything like that, so thank you. And with that being said, I love you with all of my person. And I will see you tomorrow, family. <laughs>